Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to start learning Mailenable, an industry-leading Windows mail server. This software has three editions, standard, professional, and enterprise. Standard one is free. If you have a small or mid-sized organization, we can go for the free edition, which can fulfill all of our mailing requirement, like send receive mail, web administration, webmail access, and pop IMAP support. Enterprise editions has more feature which are for large organizations. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare server and install the software. And on the next video, I'll show you how to configure the mail server with Outlook setup for production use. I'll show you the full mail server configuration step by step on the upcoming videos. So let's get started. First, we need to understand how we can set up mail enable. Here we purchased our domain from GoDaddy and set up MX record for our domain. We configured the public IP of mail enable as our MX. So it is receiving mail from the internet. Or we can set up like this. As the standard edition doesn't have the full fledged spam filter for spam filtering, we can set up our MX to our ISP for incoming mail scan. Then our mail enable will receive cleaned mail from the ISP and deliver to user's mailbox. Either way, we can deploy mail enable to receive mail for the organization. So let's install the software now. Here you can see that I have remote desktop to my server, mail.mailserverguru.com. And this is a Windows Server 2019 data center edition. Mail enable requires .NET framework and IIS web server for web administration portal and webmail. So let's install the IIS web server first. Add roles and features. Here we select IIS web server. And here the .NET framework is selected already. Let's leave the defaults. So it will install the web server IS and the default programs. Here the IS installation done. So click close. Now let's start the installation. Here I have downloaded the standard package. You can download it from here. During the installation process and once installed, mail enable will try to access the internet. So click OK. Welcome. This is the owner of the software. So it will be administrator and my company name is mail server guru. And these are the components it will install the webmail service and the web administration service and migration center. Get post office details. Mail enable requires at least one post office to deliver mail to and from. This is actually the organization name. And mail enable recommends uh, to put the uh, post office name in the domain format. So we are giving here mailserverguru.com and the password is the postmaster's password click next and here the domain name mailserverguru.com and this is our dns host and the system and please enter the smtp listen port on 25 port by default the system will listen So IIS will install the webmail under the main IIS uh, main directory. So it says the configure webmail as an IIS virtual directory. On the next video, I'll show you detail how to configure these virtual directories. So now click next. Now the web administration web root. So it will install the uh, web administration portal 
I'll show you details on the next video about this click next okay the installation is complete so it's saying that you should run the diagnostic utility and review your SMTP connector relay setting to ensure that your server is protected from spammers so we will configure this on the next video so click finish now the installation is okay so it shows us the webmail and web administration URL I will uh, show you on the next video now open the mail email interface This is the mail enable GUI. Post office. This is the post office name and this is the domain. So we have successfully installed the software. On the next video, I'll show you how to configure this in detail. So thank you for being with me. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, please subscribe. It will encourage me to create more videos for you. So thank you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.